from diets to gym memberships and transformation challenges. The health and fitness industry is growing at a rapid rate, but women are increasingly unhappy with their appearance. 93% say they want to improve or change their bodies. And our next guests believe that our brains could actually be stopping us from living a healthy and happy life. Joining us this morning is performance coach and stress management expert Laura Picardi and executive officer for Palliative Care New South Wales, Linda Hansen. It's great to have you both on. Mm. Laura, let's start with you first. So how are our brains stopping us living our best, happiest, healthiest lives? Well, good question. So I just think we're still not appreciating and respecting the fact that our brains actually control everything that happens inside our bodies. So our brains are our main control centre and the main priority of our brain is to keep us safe. Mm -hmm. So although the world has evolved at an amazing rate, our brains haven't. So they still respond the very same way they did thousands of years ago. So if they detect a danger, then we go into fight or flight mode, which I'm sure you've heard of. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, but because the brain doesn't know the difference between real and perceived dangers, it still responds the same way as, you know, when a woolly mammoth was chasing us years ago. But today our dangers are just incessant thoughts of, you know, I've got so much to do or should I eat that chocolate or not? Mm -hmm. So we're constantly triggering this fight or flight response, but we're not using it. So that's when we end up with issues like stubborn fat, fatigue, anxiety, depression, digestive issues and, you know, you name it. Right. Let's start with where this all started with you, because mm. you say that you reached a, a very low point in your life a few years ago. But yeah. what happened? So I had worked my butt off for years trying to achieve all my career goals, mm -hmm. which for me was to open my own business. And I did that. I converted an old uh, video store into a gym. And I got a call one Friday afternoon from my head trainer because I'd gone home early one day. And he said, hey, Laura, there's been a bang and there's some smoke. So, long story short, over the course of the next couple of hours, I stood and watched the whole building crumble to the ground. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, I actually kept the business going. I relocated it the next day. But I eventually had to shut it down because my health was at a critical point. Mm -hmm. So, all the things I mentioned before, it actually started happening to me before the fire, but I was too busy to do anything about it. But by this point, it had kind of become a bit critical. So. I had to do something about it. I was adrenally fatigued. I was putting on weight inexplicably. I hadn't had a period in two years. It was, it was a very low point. Linda, let me bring you in on this as well, because you've got a similar story in a way, mm. don't you? Yeah, so I, um, I was finding that I was just putting on... I was going to the gym a lot, lifting lots of heavy weights, because, mm -hmm. you know, you're told heavy things good as you get older. Mm -hmm. um, and I just kept getting bigger and bigger. Not muscle bigger, fat bigger. Yeah. Okay. Um, and getting more and more depressed and I was finding that I was really struggling to get through a day with some any like energy and, and fun with a joy was kind of gone for me and I couldn't work out what was happening and uh, I met Laura and we talked about the impact that stress can have and it became very clear to me that the stress from my uh, life my job is an um, important busy job I think it's important anyway. Um, well, palliative care uh, you're uh, dealing with the, with the end of people's lives you know that's yeah. it is stressful yeah. in certain mm. ways. Yeah. Um, but I thought that doing all of that uh, work in the gym would uh, counteract all of that stuff and, 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 and actually it was just adding to my stress and I was just getting bigger and bigger and I had to find a way to, to, um, to stop that, knock it on the head and find out what was that really going on and, and Laura helped me to do that. So is it then the stress of trying to make yourself well that, that builds into that? So you're so stressed that I've got to go to the gym at this yeah. time and I've got to eat healthy and have I done the shopping? And, yeah. and is, is that feeding into the unwellness? Yes, as well as, well as the physical stress of your job. All of that stuff. No, yeah. the, the gym stuff, that really heavy lifting right. stuff that um, I thought would be the easiest way to, to keep weight under control has actually been counterproductive well, look, Laura, for a woman the, of a certain age. Well, I think a lot of people feel that way too. If mm. you're a parent or anything like that, you've got a heavy workload and then you go to the gym and do a heavy workload yeah. and you wonder yeah. why you're tired at 6 o'clock yeah. at night, that comes into it. So, Laura, what, what can we do? You've developed, like, a stress management course, I yeah. guess, for this. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, my whole program, my whole ethos in life is to teach people how to be their real selves mm. because the reason we're stressed all the time remember those perceived dangers because we've got so many thoughts and worries constantly going round and round who should I be what should I do we're constantly comparing ourselves to each other and second-guessing what we should do and who we should be rather than just being ourselves 
So my programme uh, allows people to do that, teaches them how to do that. So first of all, we have to know what is actually important to us, what fundamentally makes us happy and drives us. What do we actually want rather than what we should want? And then we have to release the stories that we're telling ourselves over and over again every single day, which when you peel off all the layers for most people, it's usually something like, I'm not good enough. So I help people retrain the way that they think so that they can control the way that they feel. Therefore, they're not triggering this fight or flight response all the time unnecessarily. And once so, this happened, did this work? Absolutely, Linda? yeah. The, just the phrase, you know, good enough is good enough. Yeah changed everything for me. Well, so, it was a toughie yeah. at the start though, wasn't it? It was a toughie <laughs> and we had to go through all of that not yeah. good enough stuff. It's hard to let go of old there. habits in your head, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Absolutely. It certainly is. We are our <laughs> own worst enemy yeah. so much of the Thank time. you both for coming Thank in. You. Thank you for having Pleasure. us. For more details on how you can get involved in Laura's program, head to the Today Show website.